<laughs> Listen, man, uh, I got me and my dog Tina Bobble right here. You know what I'm saying? We finna do the exes, Tina Bobble, because everybody want to know about the exes. So we're going to give y'all the, the rendezvous and uh, what we think about the ex type thing. Uh, first of all, this, this situation is all about a uh, respect type thing, you know. And I'm not saying that you can't be your ex's friends or nothing like that because I am my ex's friends too. I ain't feel like what I all know neither. We say hey and bye to each other, you know what I'm saying. But let me tell you something. When I'm dating somebody, I don't bring up their name. I don't call them in the cell phone. Because the person I'm dating, I don't want them at one minute to think that I'm going to go backwards or even go back and talk to them. So you don't want somebody new that you dating to even think that. So that's why it is, to me, exes don't get no credibility with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't go on their Facebook lurking. I don't text their ass. If I'm with my, if I'm with the person I'm dating in the club, I don't speak to their motherfucking ass. Um, what I, what I, what I left out, Bob? I don't email their ass. We don't do shit. We don't talk their ass. I, we don't even acknowledge that their ass exists. You, you won't even fucking know it. Period. And. I know some of y'all out there right now like, yeah, yeah, because get what? It's respect. You got the fear of that. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't dare do that. And I can't believe that some of y'all people out there would even think that it's cool to even make a, post, a Facebook post about your ex or even go to your ex's houses and things while y'all dating somebody new. That's just straight disrespectful. That you, shit is you got me fucked up and Tina Bob. They got me fucked up too. Uh, so, I, uh, uh, I don't care if you and I don't care if you owe that bitch fifty thousand dollars back. I don't care if her name on the deed of the fucking house. I don't fucking care if her hair that she will rebuild some shit on our fucking own. Fuck them hoes. <laughs> I mean, damn. <laughs> you know, and I ain't gonna lie. For me to move fucking forward, I I ain't never my life went backwards. Never. That's why on Facebook. Whoever y'all see me go with, when I separate from the ass, you don't never see me with them again. But y'all be wanting to see me with them again. I blow your ass last relationship. Don't get blowed on this one. Second of all, they be wanting to see you back with somebody <laughs> that they don't even know. So they don't really matter. They just kind of like thinking, oh, they look cute together. Bitch, cute don't pay no bills. Bitch, cute ain't got nobody back. Bitch, cute don't keep their fucking legs closed. Bitch, cute don't do shit. Cute ain't got no fucking loyalty. They, they were crazy, man, but wow. You know what I'm saying? And loyalty play a, a loyalty play a role in, in this too, right? Because uh, I, yeah. how you gonna show me your loyalty and you rep how somebody gonna show you their loyalty and they ripping their ex? How? That's called red flag. When you dating somebody, you wanna learn that they got your back. So it is a little trust issue. Oh, you heard me, Papa? Oh, Lord. You have to build that trust up. So if you do stuff like that, it kind of messes up the trust. It's y'all here. I swear to God, this is unscripted, though. Tell about that same shit so live. When you dating somebody, you want to make sure they got your back. So if this person is goddamn talking about their ex, or they making some type of Facebook status or something like that, you think they got your back? Do you feel they got your back? Fuck no, I wouldn't. Yeah, it hurts your feelings. If you don't agree with me and Tina about right now, I know one of you childish. Young folks wouldn't understand. And, um, and thinking about what we not saying, we not saying like your baby daddy already. Yeah. Thinking about, first, you ain't fuck that. Because your baby daddy, all that Facebook shit, call that nigga up and tell him what the fuck your baby did. All that could handle in person. All that, you don't need all that Facebook. Shit. That shit ain't even funny no. shit. This shit for fucking it's a fucking time to bitch. Thank you. And if, don't be if you got no if you gotta entertain your if you wanna entertain your ex, don't entertain your ex on Facebook. They get you caught up every time. We got this bitch the realest motherfuckers on the book, bitch. <laughs>